Hi friends, hope everybody's having a great day. I just wanted to come on and give a quick announcement about Bible studies. I'm going to start putting up Bible studies on this channel twice a week. I'm going to do Old Testament on Monday mornings and New Testament on Thursday mornings. I plan to have these up about 7 a.m. Central Time. Um, each week and so um, I hope that you will tune in what I'd really like to do is go live and do a, a live study and live chat so that we could have some interaction and stuff in real time but right now this channel does not have enough subscribers or uh, video views to be able to to do that so YouTube has put a you know a stipulation on that so um, Hopefully my channel will grow swiftly and so we can get to the point where we can do that. But for now, I think, you know, I'll just put up a semi-short <laughs> video, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, and talking about a chapter or two, um, depending on the book that we're on. And, you know, I, I don't want to make it super basic, but I also don't want to be, you know, really crazy deep. So I'm just going to kind of point out a few insights and just things that maybe God has shown me as I'm preparing for it um, and just kind of talk about, you know, just talk about the chapter, um, just take it line by line. And I don't know, I think it will be, it'll be fun. <laughs> um, I'm just really seeing a need, you know, I don't know if it is, you know, COVID restrictions coupled with the way, you know, churches and other organizations are changing um, or have changed, you know, their, um, you know, the way they get together and the way they do things. Uh, I think just, uh, you know, stuff has changed for people <laughs> and there are some who are just sort of filling out of the loop. Um, and I, I see a real desire in a lot of people to just go back to the basic truth of the word to understand the book as a whole um, to understand the Bible from front to back and um, to try to see how it all relates together that just seems to be such a big uh, a big deal right now right it's trending <laughs> um, where people just want to know the word and so um, I'm thinking that you know it'd be really cool just to sit down and look at the word together so I know that um, you know I've I've seen with some of my followers here um, on my blog, on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and some of my, you know, personal friends and family, just some people are feeling like they just want a place where they can fellowship, you know, with women and just talk about the word. Um, and so I just want to provide that here and I hope it will be a blessing. So I guess for now, until we can do something live, I'm not really, um, I don't know, I'm not really wanting to do uh, Facebook live at this point. I really just kind of want to keep things here. So um, until we can do something live, I think maybe I will just, um, you know, let you know in each video what we're going to be studying the next time around and then that way you can read ahead of time and then tune in or, you know, if you have comments and that you'd like me to add to the video, questions, whatever, just um, put those in the comment box for the, you know, vi video prior and, um, or, you know, email me, whatever. And we'll just we'll just kind of try to piece it together for now and see how it goes. The father might change it up. He might bring about some really awesome thing I haven't thought of yet. But for now, this is what we're doing. So I will have the first video up on this coming Thursday morning. Thursday, I don't know what the date will be. <laughs> but anyway, um, day after tomorrow, I'll have that first one up. It will be on Matthew, first chapter of Matthew. All right, so, um, oh, you, I know, the other thing I wanted to talk about in this video real quick was Bible study, I don't know, tips, techniques. <laughs> so um, some people, you know, ask me, how do you study? What do you choose to study? Where do you start? Whatever. They want to get into the Word, but they're not sure exactly how to do that. And so I thought I'd just give a couple of things. So when I was first um, trying to follow the Lord way back when I was like, I don't know, 18 years old probably, um, I was newly married, and my husband had been a Christian for, you know, since he was born, <laughs> I mean, just a really long time, since he was a little kid, and so I asked him, I was like, you know, how do you get a hunger for reading the Bible, because, you know, I'm not even supposed to read my Bible, and, you know, in those days, it's like, well, the church tells you, or, you know, my so-and-so Bible study leader tells me that I need to read my Bible every morning and have a daily devotion, and <laughs> all that kind of stuff but um so anyway so you know I was just feeling a lot of you know guilt because I wasn't doing that and so I asked him how do you you know get yourself to the point where you are hungering for the word 
And because um, I was just kind of feeling guilty that I wasn't hungering for the word like a good new Christian should be. And he just said, you just got to kind of fake it till you make it. <laughs> so, you know, he told me, just pull it out and read it and read it regularly. You know, make a goal and keep your goal as small a goal <laughs> and do it regularly. And as you do it, um, God will open your eyes to things and he will get, you know, help you to be excited about it. You know, it's hard to be excited about something that you don't know what you're gonna you know what you're gonna encounter like <clears throat> it was hard to be excited about the word but I didn't know what was there <laughs> so um you know once I saw what was there and I started to develop a relationship with the Lord well then of course I started to be more excited about learning more and more about him and more hungry for his word so that's um one thing if you're not hungry for the word I would just fake it till you make it just read it anyway and let him develop that hunger in you um and then you know as far as how to study um I've done, you know, all kinds of different things. I wouldn't really recommend that you get any kind of, um, like a devotional or, um, you know, some sort of book written by someone else. I, I just really wouldn't recommend that that is the way you start out because, um, you can get really kind of turned around when you are looking towards, you know, looking to other people for their opinions. So, you know, I, I say that and then I'm going to turn around and put up Bible study video. So I just want to kind of put up this disclaimer, like be sure that you are in the word and that you are testing everything you hear from me or from anyone else. Um, test it against the word and, and pray about it and test it against what the spirit wants to say to you um, regarding what you're hearing because ultimately you're responsible for what you believe and you're responsible for what you know. And, um, you know, God has different people on different walks doing different things. So what he has for me may not be what he has for you. In fact, I guarantee it's probably not. And what he has for you is not for me. So, um, you know, you just want to make sure that you're not getting too many outside voices, um, especially right at the beginning if you're just learning. So I would be really careful unless it's someone that you have a you know strong relationship with and that you, um, you know, someone who knows you well and that you, you trust. Um, I would be careful about um, trusting too many other opinions. Just let God t talk to you straight from his word. Um, just go, you know, straight to him. And um, so so how I would do that is, you know, just pick a book. Um, some people say to start in John. I personally think you should start at the beginning of the book <laughs> because it all flows together. <laughs> um, and it all, you know, it's uh, to understand the New Testament. You really need to understand the Old Testament to um, get, you know, to get it so and of course we'll go into that as our study goes along but um so really you know start anywhere but i would recommend starting starting with genesis and just start reading through um and taking a little bit at a time so you know i used to think well if i read you know i'll read three chapters a day or something and then i can have the whole bible read in a year or whatever it was you know the one year bible plan or whatever but the problem with that is is sometimes you're taking in so much information that you're not actually um you know you're not digesting any of it you're just taking it all in for quantity sake and i would highly suggest that you focus on quality's sake. <clears throat> so if you only read two or three verses, but God speaks to you in those verses, honestly, I would just stop there. <laughs> I would stop there and just start journaling. You know, if he, <clears throat> even in one verse, if he brings out an insight, something to think about, a question you might have, I would just stop right there and start um, journaling. And that, I have had my most, um, meaningful and productive, you know, Bible studies when I do it that way. Um, I started doing it that way, I don't know, six or seven years ago, and I have piles and piles and piles of journals and, you know, full-on sermons, <laughs> if I were to have a pulpit, so full-on teachings, I guess you could say, written out um, piles of them, and it's because I have started focusing on quality instead of quantity. And so, um, you know, God will give me an insight about one little thing and I stop and I write and I pray and sometimes I research. And, um, my daughter asked me last night cause I was sitting on the bed, um, looking up one specific verse and trying to get some insight on it. And I had like, I had two Bible commentaries 
and three or four Bibles open, all open on the, the, the bed around me and then my laptop and my phone and my notebook. And she comes in and she's like, how many Bibles do you have? And I was like, oh, honey. So I start naming them all, you know, all, all I can think of just for fun, you know, giving her a big list. And she was just like, what in the world? But, you know, it's, it's, that's what you do when you're a student, right? You gather your resources, your trusted resources, and you go to town. So anyway, I think that's a really productive way to study and to really learn is just take a little bit at a time. Um, and you know, once you have, if you have a question about what you're reading, you know, once you have searched the word and a couple of different, um, maybe versions, you can find every version known to man online. There's a couple of different places. Um, Gate, Bible Gateway I've used. I always hear people talking about blue, blue letter Bible. I don't really even know what that is. So I can't, um, but everybody recommends that. I don't know what that is. So I think it might be a, um, a collection of Bibles or concordances maybe. I don't know. I'll have to look it up and get back to you. But anyway, you'll, you'll find all kinds of versions of the Bible online that you can test against each other. Um, and then, you know, once you've done that and you have taken it to prayer and, you know, and waited for an answer, <laughs> then it might be okay to go ahead and, you know, pull up a search engine and ask some questions of, you know, Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever it is that you use and see what others might be thinking or saying about the subject. Um, I would just, again, be really careful about, um, you know, take it all with a grain of salt because there's people. They're, they're just um, men and women who are just like you trying to figure things out. And so, yeah, there has been some study and scholarship stuff done out there, but they're, they're just you. They're just normal human beings. So um, just be really careful what you believe. And um, as Abraham Lincoln said, you cannot believe everything that you read on the internet. So be really careful. I've really found that it, it, pays off in the long run to take notes and to keep a journal, to keep track of the things that I'm learning. Um, I have been able to go back many times and um, re read and rethink and reevaluate some things that I, you know, that God has shown me in the past. And the really cool stuff is when he uses things, you know, from 15 years ago to confirm what is going on in my life right now. And that's happened a couple of times. I might talk about that later on. Somebody might need to remind me. <laughs> but um, it, it is really awesome to have that record. And it's really cool to have that record to pass on to future generations. When my great granny passed away, I was like 19, I think, when she passed away. And she left tons of notebooks, journals, and things behind. And it was, you know, her prayers, her Bible study, her, she wrote out um, lyrics to songs and hymns. Um, you know, there's addresses to write in to a ministry, you know, to get their free brochure. <laughs> it's like everything. And she was a solid Pentecostal Jesus loving woman. And it was so cool to, you know, and, and her, her Bibles too. In fact, I even came across um, one of her Bibles that I had put away just the other day I found it and I've put it on my shelf of Bibles to study with and it is full of her just thoughts and writings and little insights and things that you know she was taking notes during a sermon or whatever it's so cool to have that um, to have that heritage and um, you know so who knows if Jesus takes a lot longer than we think he will <laughs> maybe he'll be able to leave those to future generations also if you can find someone that you trust um, you know, to maybe mentor you in Bible study, um, try and sit down and have discussions with, you know, that person about your, your questions or your thoughts. And, um, you know, I'm sure that you can bless them as much as they can bless you if you're new to things or, or whatever. We all, um, have a direct line to the Lord, right? So he can speak anything into any heart, no matter how experienced or new they are at, you know, actually walking out things. So maybe try and get with, um, you know, a Bible study partner, if it's your spouse or a family member, your friend, whatever. Um, but that's kind of why I want to do the Bible studies online because I know that there are some people out there who don't have that. They don't have access to someone who can walk through the word with them. So I would like to do that with you if you will join me. Um, all right. So I'm going to get off of here and um, I am going to be posting, like I said, I'll be posting that one Thursday morning. 
It will be on the first chapter of Matthew, and I think this will be really good. So if you're interested and want to be preparing for that, read Matthew chapter 1. All right, see you later. Bye-bye.